More than a thousand miles south of New Mexico, it seems like it's always chili harvest time at La Merced, the huge open-air mercado in Mexico City. We explored the market with chili expert Jose Marmalejo. And I'll look. We have some uh, red jalapenos, but I understand they're not really called jalapenos in Mexico City, right? That's right, Dave. You know, here in Mexico City, what we know as jalapenos, they know them as cuaresmeños. Cuaresmeño has something to do with Lent and the Lenten season. Right. Uh, cuaresma is a word for Lent, so apparently they use them during Lent, and uh, that's why they got the name. Why are all these different names for the chilies? Everybody, every region has a different name for their own chilies, and it gets confusing. <laughs> and these are called chilies de arbol because they, they grow tall like a tree, hence the name arbol. That's correct. correct. And right over here, we have some green uh, versions of the same uh, chilies de arbol, right? Yes, no, it no. is. It is, it is very rare to find chile de arbol in the green and in the red mature form. We only know them in the United States in the dried form. And look down here, look at the size of these uh, cuaresmeños, I guess, we, right. or jalapenos. Some of them nearly four inches long. That's yes. remarkable. La Merced Market has an absolute wealth of chilies with dozens of varieties from every region in Mexico at very reasonable prices. The familiar chilies are all here, like the poblanos, which when dried are called anchos. Together, they are probably the most popular chilies used in cooking in Mexico. The more exotic chilies are the canarios, which were transferred from the Andes of South America and are grown in the mountainous regions of Mexico. Another exotic chili is the chipotle, a smoked chili, but as Jose explains, the terminology of the different types of chipotles like moras and moritas can be very confusing. All smoked chiles are chipotles, chili being chile and potli being smoke. smoke. So all moras, moritas are all chipotles. The difference is some are serranos, some are jalapenos, some come from Veracruz, some come from Puebla, some come from Chiapas. Therefore, they got different uh, varieties of chili and a different wood to smoke them. That's why we have all this spectrum of aromas. Okay, let's uh, smell one here. This is a mora. That's a mora. Smoked jalapeno. Yeah, very nice. The state of Oaxaca has the largest number of rare and unusual cultivated chilies in the country. More than 60 varieties are grown only in Oaxaca and nowhere else in Mexico. To find these chilies, all we had to do was visit the Mercado. There, we spoke with chili vendor Eliseo Ramirez, and again, Jose Marmolejo assisted in helping us to understand these interesting chilies and their culinary usage. Over here, we have some very unusual chilies that are found nowhere else in the, in the world. These are pasillas de Oaxaca. Pasillas de Oaxaca, estos son para rellenar, uh, para um, vinagre, como le llaman, o salsas comunes. Okay, I can understand that. He's talking, this. they're stuffed, right? Right, they're used uh, mainly the big ones for stuffing. Uh, you can make a salsa or you can have them pickled in escabeche. Oh, I see. Okay, these uh, chihuahuas here, I'm growing some of these in my garden in Albuquerque. Uh, some seeds brought back by my friend Jim Payton from this very market. But wow. uh, ask him what they're used for. I guess they're used for the black moles. Mole that is negro. correct. The chihuahua negros para el mole negro. Exclusivamente para mole negro, para otro. Mainly for the mole negro, but there's also uh, one of the seven moles called chichilo also calls for it. So these bright red chilies here, the onza. Is that uh, how, you, how you say it? Chile onza? Mm -hmm. what the chile de onza is exclusivamente nada más para salsas. Para salsas. Okay, it's, it's used exclusively in salsas, correct? You got it. <laughs> I'm understanding this better and better the more we uh, <laughs> go to these markets. I'm starting to get it. What about this chihuacle amarillo? Again, one of the seven moles. Uh, the amarillo calls for both the chihuacle amarillo and the amarillo. Would you ask uh, Eliseo why he got so interested in, in selling chilies? Well, he used to sell the perishables, tomatoes and lettuce and the like, and he was not uh, he was not happy uh, seeing all these vegetables going bad, so he decided to go into the dry stuff that lasts longer. And very he's smart. been very <laughs> successful, yes. Well, he has a lot of chilies here. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs>